I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars for June Sagittarius. Now on the 8th of the month, the new moon this month is in your 7th house. Okay, so this is all to do with love and partnerships and relationships. So the new moon is always like a, a new start. It's the start of your next solar phase to do around love and relationships. So other influences also in, this, in the 7th house um, just bring it's like Cupid is firing his, uh, his arrows like direct to you so you want to focus on love this month I mean um, you know not that you wouldn't anyway but you know there's always various things happening in inner chart and sometimes it's a matter of life balance you know you give a little bit of energy and time to each area of your life and, and this month it's important for you to really focus on the area of your relationships okay now last month um, relationship money issues could have come up so you can get some closure on that now and start to work through any issues that you didn't you know bring to closure last month so you know it's important this month that you really just look at them and um, talk it through and come to a situation where all parties or both parties are, are happy with now later in the month on the 28th um, Venus is going to move into your ninth house now this is all to do with travels and dealings from afar so some of you if you're in a relationship then don't be surprised if you're you know having to find other ways to communicate um, you know with your sweetheart and also you know this is a great month if you're in a relationship it gives you an opportunity to just re you know restart the the love fires and get them sort of burning a little bit more brightly okay so it's not just great for singles it's also good for couples now on a professional level on the 23rd the full moon is going to be in your second house and this is all to do with money possessions and it's also to do with how you value yourself and sometimes um, it's a matter of how much you value yourself is how much reward on a financial level that you will attract okay so you want to be careful that you're not limiting yourself in any way on the 26th Jupiter is going to transit into your eighth house another um, money area of your chart but more to do with uh, using resources of, of someone else's money you, you know and there's always there's all sorts of different partnerships and sometimes um, you can have a partnership where you're uh, putting in the hard work and someone's putting in the money or perhaps you're going to the bank and asking for a loan whatever it's a very positive opportunity to use other people's resources now this transit is going to be for a whole year okay so it's a 12 month period so this is quite a good time for you Sagittarius so if you feel like your business has <clears throat> been in a little bit of a lull I seem to be getting a lot of Sagittarians asking me when are things going to get better so you know hold on tight things are going to get better for you now my angel advice for you uh, is on the 19th the Sun and Jupiter are going to conjunct in your seventh house so once again all to do with relationships great transit for you to connect with significant people okay certainly on a, a intimate level but you know significant people that are going to help you in all areas of your life as well so watch for the synchronicity of life and watch for the signposts the serendipity so I love that word and that movie okay now the numbers for you this month are 8 22 26 and 28 and there's room there for you to put your own couple of numbers in have a great month Sagittarius I'm Jennifer Angel thanks for watching